So, Brayden, what are we going to be doing today, buddy? Feeding these fish and um, doing an underwater camera um, production of all the aquaponics. Awesome. What kind of fish do we have in there? Tilapia. Tilapia, huh? How old are those tilapia? Four. Four what? Weeks? Four, four weeks, I guess. Yeah. So we got the camera in the water. It's my new video camera for filming footage. So hopefully it does a good job. Um, anyways, without further ado, let's get some fish in front of it. Doing a little bit of feeding. So you can see the tilapia are eating really good inside this setup. I got some in there that are nicer than others. In a minute, I'll take you inside and uh, let you see Brutus there. Let you check him out. See how he's grown. He's probably double the size, if not triple, all these other tilapia out here. Now, I've taken most of the tilapia out of his tank, so he's just by himself. You see there's a couple of catfish roaming through there as well. So anyways, I'm thinking I'm really digging this new camera. Hopefully, I'll get a lot more better videos out of it. Get a little bit better editing at editing, too. Not to say I'm great at it yet, but who knows? One of these days, I may be the next Steven Spielberg. I kind of doubt it, but one can dream. The water is so clear. You know, one thing I want to talk about, if you're thinking about having, you know, depending on where you're living at and you're having an outside tank that's having algae problems, well, one surefire way to get rid of it is to use tilapia. I had literally strands of algae growing all, around, all over the place on the inside of this tank. You know, some were six inches long. It looked like, you know, just grass growing in here. And within the matter of a week, the tilapia had basically just devoured it. <laughs> so they're excellent for that. And if you're having that problem in your aquaponic system, I suggest that you try these fish. If you're allowed, you know, there's a lot of strict rules on certain states about, in other countries as well, about having tilapia. Um, where I'm at, I'm using blue tilapia right now. Uh, you don't, there's no special requirements to be able to grow those. But uh, I am looking to get some of the whites in the Mozambique, so I'll probably have to apply for an aquaculture license, which I'll talk about in another video about what's required. I've done the research on it. Maybe I'll short, shoot a short film if anybody has any. If you guys are interested, let me know, and I'll give you some information on that. Found a pretty good resource site for it. Um, you know, it's just relaxing watching the fish. Yes, I have several minutes. I don't know if they're going to be in the camera frame. I just have it sitting in the water on the tripod. But uh, I see several minnows and stuff in here. So if the bass are wanting to eat, that's what they're going to probably mess with. The tilapia are probably a little bit too big for them to handle now. You know, when I put in the feed like this in uh, good sized quantity, some falls to the bottom, and that's what the catfish like to go around they're the bottom cleaners they just go around and do their thing clean up the, the stuff on the bottom well anyways I'll take you guys inside and see if I can get Brutus to give you guys a little bit of film footage okay so here we are getting a look inside of Brutus's home see if I can get him in front of the camera for you guys Hey, Brutus. You won't let the people see you, boy. I'm going to be putting, I'm going to be buying some other tilapia from another vendor and stuff just so I have some variety. I'm not going to really be breeding with none of the ones that came with. So, I mean, although from what I've read, it doesn't seem to be a super big deal. They say you may get slower growing fish and they may not get as big, but. You know, maybe I'll have to do some experiments with that 
let you guys know, but most aquacultures, that's what I've read it about. They know what they're talking about, so pretty sure they're on point with that. Like I say, I'll just have to uh, um, get some other tilapia, which is no big deal. Anyways, guys, there's Brutus. There's the underwater tank feeding. New camera. Wasn't that expensive. Seems to be doing a good job. Let me know what you guys think. And don't forget to comment, like, and especially subscribe. Thanks a lot, y'all. See you next time.